You know, when you're on your own and there's no one here to coach you, push you, or even watch you, you really find out who you really are. I am dying, but we're going to keep going. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're all doing well today. It's currently 7.06 a.m. And you know what that means. We are headed to the pool. One of the perks of having my own pool, it really cuts down on commute time. I woke up seven minutes ago and I'm already here, ready to go. There are no pools in the nearby area that are open for me or anybody to train in today, so fortunately, now, as you can see and tell by the weather and the cloudiness, it rained last night, it poured down on my pool. I mean, it was thundering, like it shook my house. It was like <laughs> we, uh, we got a whole lot of rainwater on top of my pool, so. We just gotta drain the top off, which should take about 20 minutes or so. This machine will just suck up and spit out the water through this hose. It'll actually work out perfectly because for the 20 minutes while it's draining, I'll just do my dynamic warm up here on the ground. That's why I had this little area poured so that I had space to, you know, stretch out and stuff before I got in the pool. Now, I am a kind of person who loves routines. I love diligent time management. I like, I just, I like discipline. And so, although I could technically get in whenever I wanted today, I like to have a strict timeline in the water at 7.30. Wake up at 7, hit the water at 7.30. That's just how I like to do it. Seven minutes of TheraBand exercises to kind of keep the shoulders healthy. And then about a 15 minute dynamic active warm up here on the concrete and I should be good to hit the pool. Now, because today's practice is a race pace practice, we're doing two sets. We're doing a 200 pace set and a 100 pace set. I'm pretty excited about it. It's, it's gonna be intense. Because of that, I like to get into the racing mindset. I like to get into the zone. So normally I'll put in my earbuds and listen to some music. This morning I'm listening to a lot of people ask. That's, that's why I Share. NF, he's like probably my favorite rapper right now. All right, it's time to activate and get into the speed racing mindset. <laughs> Breaststroke days, man, you really, really gotta warm up your groins. You can cold turkey just about every stroke, but not breaststroke. You can really hurt yourself, which is why I spend a lot of time on the groins. It's such an unnatural movement, breaststroke. Like, it's just not, it's not a normal human mechanic. It's very bizarre, which is why we're all super, super weirdos. <laughs> Just finished stretching, pool finished training. Let me explain to you guys today's sets. Man, it is, I am so sweaty, it's so humid because it's been pouring. Wow, anyway, today we're doing a 200 pace set and a 100 pace set and both sets are essentially the same. It's called the 8642 set or, or sets. Basically what it is for the 200 set, it's 850s and then 650s, and then 450s, and then 250s. And in between each one of those little chunks is a 300 meter swim out. The 850, oh gosh, I am just blowing it right now. The 850s are at 90% effort of a 200 rate. So what I mean by that is those 850s are swimming at 200 rate, but at 90% effort. 
The 650s are the same, but at 95% effort. And then the 450s, it's essentially a broken 200. And then two bonus 50s after. The 100 pace set is exactly the same. It's just instead of 50s, they're 25s. And instead of 200 pace, it's 100 pace. Am I making sense? Now, as we move through the set, as we decrease reps going from eight to six to four to the two, the rest increases. On the first set of 850s, because I'm swimming in an, in an endless pool, I'm shooting for about 20 seconds rest. So if you're swimming the set in an actual pool, that would be on roughly 50 seconds. Don't worry if you're confused, if I'm confusing you. I will put the full set in a little time lapse while I'm swimming the first thousand warm up meters of my practice. Best part of the day right here. we start the set. So this first set of 850s is gonna go like this. I'm gonna do them on 20 seconds rest, which is roughly 50 seconds in a real pool, like a long course pool. And I'm gonna be doing 18 strokes because my average per stroke stroke count in a 200 meter breaststroke race is 18 strokes. And I'm gonna try to build into the 850s, kind of build into it and get going. And with only 20 seconds rest, it's gonna hurt a little bit, but it's gonna be good. I got my pace clock set, so I know exactly where I'm at. All I'm gonna do is make sure I count my strokes. Rock and roll, rock and roll. One down. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. 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 Okay, one more. One more. One more. This is a bit harder than I was gonna be. I'm gonna lie. On the 25s, I'm doing eight strokes. So much higher rate, just cranking. And I'm, I mean, I crank that machine up real high to the point where after five or six cycles, it's really hard to stay in line. And the nice thing about the endless pool is it really rewards efficiency. So the more tight and con compressed I am, like little things like squeezing my head when I'm, when I'm reaching forward before my out sweep of my breaststroke, you know, the tighter I keep my arms to my head, the tighter I squeeze my chest, just the better line I hold, it rewards me because it doesn't knock me around as much. When I start to get tired and fatigued, I start swaying around. And I think that's good race practice because, you know, you can feel the drag and the little, the little things that your body does when you start to fatigue and break down that you don't necessarily feel in a regular pool when you're swimming because there's so much pressure pushing you back. It's one thing to get tired in the pool and start going slow. It's a whole other sensation when you're getting tired, your stroke breaks down, and you start getting pushed back. You can feel all the little things you're doing wrong. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yes. yes. Oh. I did it. That's it. That's it. Oh, oh baby, that was good. Overall, I thought it went. I thought it went really well. Gotta fish out all the buggies. Hey buddy, good boy. Good morning, Lyle, good morning. Here, let's go inside, I'll give you some treats. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's take a step into my office. Today's video is sponsored by Raycon, specifically their E25 wireless noise isolating earbuds. You guys have seen me wearing them and using them in videos before. I really like these earbuds for a variety of reasons. Number one, they start at less than half the price of like the top of the line premium earbuds on the market and they sound amazing. They come in all kinds of cool different colors to fit your personality. These earbuds are Raycon's best model yet. You get up to six 
hours of playtime, more bass than ever before, seamless Bluetooth connectivity, the list just kind of goes on and on and on. Sometimes when I go to the gym to work out, the music in the gym is too loud. Thankfully, I always have these in my pocket. Because it has a nice noise isolating fit, you don't really hear any anything else. I like the way that these earbuds fit. They're one of the only pairs that I've ever seen where they fit in your ear and you turn them upward, so they're really kind of snug up in there. Like, I mean, they just, they look cool. I've seen online that a lot of celebrities are obsessed with these things. People like Snoop Dogg and Brandy and even Mike Tyson. I mean, like, like Mike Tyson. If you guys are interested, you can get 15% off. Just go to buyraycon.com slash Cody. Just click the link in the description below. Thank you, Raycon, for supporting YouTubers and also making dope products. Okay. This is still very much a work in progress, but the baby room has come a long way. As I said in my last video, I was gonna build the crib well. It took me just a couple hours to put this thing together. Got the baby mattress in already. A little working drawer down here for the bed sheets. It's coming along. As always, make sure you guys are following me on social media, at Swim Miller on Twitter and at Cody Miller on Instagram. Vlogs every Wednesdays and sometimes Fridays. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and share my videos with your swimmer friends. That really helps me. More swim sets are coming. I've got a lot of cool sets to show you guys. Pretty excited about that. We have, Puffy, get down real quick. We have, we have merch is available at the merch store. Best part of the day right there. Go check that stuff out. And until my next video, I will see you guys later. <laughs>